popping all right fam all right ball checking in here and today we have a lot to discuss now let's jump right into it first off salute notification game hitting that like button before the video even start y'all the real art right, fam salute anyway up first we got that boy fredo santana Okay, so a lot of people sit back and think, oh, man, when I make it, bro, that's it right there, fam. When I become a rapper, I sign my contract. When I become an entertainer and I sign my contract, I officially made it. The work is over. They go to popping champagne, going to the script club, throwing all types of money, buying their homeboys, all types of clothes, buying their family, this and that. But soon as the honeymoon stage is over, they realize the work has just begun. Soon as you sign your contract or get on to become anything, your work ethic have to go up a notch, bro. I mean, your work ethic have to be just like you still at the bottom, fam. You got to keep that day one hunger or you won't last. And that's exactly what that boy Fredo Santana doing. My guy Fredo is out here putting in that work, bro. See, Fredo got what we call a hustler gene, bro. He was a hustler before he got in the route game. Fredo was out here doing his things in the streets. Now, I'm not going to speak too much on that because I only report the news. I don't do no snitch. Now, like I said, Fredo got the hustler gene. You could put him in any environment. He going to hustle his way to the top and get his bread by any means necessary. And that's basically what he doing when he got in the route game. Fredo did what any hustler would do. He don't necessarily need the route game, but... He saw it as a thing he could use to capitalize off of, to get more bread, and to spark other things he interested in. Now, like I said, a hustler going to get theirs regardless, but once you put them in position to get all kinds of bread, they're going to do what I call over hustle. They're going to over hustle themselves to the point where they get sick. And that's exactly what happened to that boy Fredo. Now, Fredo been hospitalized. He took the IG and said, when you work hard, no sleep, you get sleep deprived and have a light seizure. So Fredo hospitalized for not Fredo. You got to take care of yourself, bro. You got a legit coming in this world, man. You got to be here for your jit, bro. So get yourself some sleep, fam. It's still going to be some money left once you wake up, bro. This nigga Fredo think he got to stay up all day and all night to get all the money, bro. Leave some cash for somebody else, bro. Now, Fredo got a lot of things going on outside of music from a few businesses and some other things, man. So salute to that, bro. Also, man, if you own that lean, bro, lay off the lean as well, fam. You got to be here for your jet. Think about your health, my guy. I'm sure Fredo going to bounce back. He a real one, man. But anyway, y'all comment down below. What advice will you give Fredo so this won't happen again? Also, comment down below. Have you ever had health problems for not sleeping and working too hard? Up next, we got that boy Young Chop and Chief Keith. His ass look like a hippopotamus. Why well, he just won an award like a like a like a whale? <laughs> Hell no, oh. What? My Instagram puss. Try to see why the fuck we in my pool looking like a, a whale. And my pool looking like a motherfucking hippo. Okay, so when you think of deadly duos, you think of Shaq and Kobe, Bron and Kyrie. Then you think of them boys, Chief Keith and Young Chop. Now, Chief Keith and Young Chop got some classic tracks together, bro. I mean, they had the streets on fire in 2012, man. Now, one of their classic songs finally went platinum, and that's that Love Sosa. By the way, why the hell Chief Keith got this slot receiver on the arm on with some designer jeans? Come on, Chief Keith, man. But anyway, dog, like I said, Lil Sosa went platinum, fam. Now, Young Chop took the IG and said, Platinum is showing a picture of their accomplishment, man. So major salute to that boy, Chief Keith and Young Chop. It's been a long time coming, bro. I need y'all to comment down below. What's your favorite song from Chief Keith and Young Chop? Up next, we got that boy Kendra Lamar. Now, Kendra Lamar took the IG and posted a picture. He got everybody speculating that he about to drop another album. Now, everybody is going crazy. Now, people are going crazy mainly because they felt like Kendrick Lamar about to give us that all hip-hop album we've been waiting for. Now, a lot of people felt like Drake, he didn't give us that all hip-hop album that we wanted. Drake got a diverse fan base, so he got to cater to a lot of people, fam. So it was understandable. But... People are going crazy for this Kendrick Lamar album. Now, I hope Kendrick Lamar is about to drop as well. Kendrick, don't be teasing the fans, bro. Drop some music, fam. Going to drop the album. The people are waiting on you, bro. I need y'all to comment down below.
Let me know if you're ready for a new Kendrick Lamar album. Anyway, I'm about to be out of here. Sub so to the channel if you haven't. Press that sub button. Also, press that bell beside it so you get a notification anytime time drop a video. Follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description. Follow me on IG at Related Ball Ball. Salute to y'all, man. One now one on a K. Grind. All right, ball. Gone.